What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE action figure news that actually broke just the other day, and I never made a video about it. For whatever reason, I just didn't. I, I don't know. I felt like it kind of went by the wayside. Like, we had so many other Elite sets and, like, other news that it kind of just slipped past. And so, I do apologize for missing this one, but I figured it, it deserves its own video. I think it does. Anytime you get a full wave like this, you want to talk about it, discuss it, and I know you guys are going to be intrigued to know what wave it is, and if you already know what wave it is, you can chime down below what you think of the full wave. If you think it's a W set, an L set, somewhere in the middle, man, let's go ahead and break into it, man. We're covering WWE Elite Series 105, and at the end, I will cover 102 through 105. So we already know Elite 102. I guess I'll do Elite Series 103 through Elite Series 105, what we know so far, and get into all that, man. So with that being said, let's dive into WWE Elite Series 105 and what should be coming in this set so you guys can prep, see if you, you know, you may save some money here, or are, are you going to empty your pockets even more with all the damn figures that we be getting these days? But let's dive into it, man. WWE Elite Series 105. Starting out first, we have Braun Strowman. I used to call him Jan Strowman, especially when he looked the same every effing week. Man, this guy has leaned up, right? I mean, he looks like a total beast. I feel like, you know, they really missed an opportunity in 2017. I guess in hindsight, it didn't matter that much, but besides that, looking at the figures, we have so many Braun Strowman Elites, like it's kind of unbelievable. I'd say probably his best Elite was the one we got before this in Elite Series, what, 87 or so? But I'm actually looking forward to this Elite 105 Braun Strowman. I think it's a pretty unique figure. You got a lot of great things going on with it. I think it looks really menacing. Really strong figure, I think. Like, is it necessarily a huge need? Probably not, but I still like it, and I'm looking forward to seeing what it feels like. You know, I like the big figures like Omos and stuff like that, so I bet he'll, he'll feel good in the hand, and we'll, we'll just have to see about that, but the Braun Strowman figure is pretty good. I'm looking forward to this one. Braun Strowman is our first figure in Elite Series 105. Next up is going to be the man, the myth, the legend. We have Johnny Gargano Elite Series 105. Now, this is the one that we saw back at WrestleMania weekend. We also saw Braun Strowman, but Johnny Gargano specifically because he was a part of the Mattel panel and I think I put it in my vlog and a couple other places. I think it was like that Friday night maybe in LA out in Wrestlemania at the Superstore late that night they had the Mattel panel remember and they shot off Elite 104 they had Austin Theory come out. It was in my vlog. I remember putting it in there and I got to see Austin Theory. I got to take a selfie with Gargano and meet him and talk to him for you know a brief second there but that was a really awesome opportunity but this Johnny Gargano figure looks awesome. I talked about how I think the prototype looks weird. Like we talked about Johnny Gargano syndrome and the render image has Johnny Gargano Gargano syndrome, but then we were like, you know, oh my god, Johnny Gargano syndrome, and then it turns out that they're not going to be using Johnny Gargano syndrome, they're actually using the updated kick pad mold, but the updated kick pad mold looks weird on the prototype without knee pads and stuff like that, so I don't know, I don't like that big gap there, so we're, are we winning here? I don't know, I think it's hard to say right now, but I'm still looking forward to the Gargano. Gargano's elites are fantastic, especially when they don't have Johnny Gargano syndrome, you know, you can look at the Fantegover elite, you can look at different elites like that. Johnny Gargano has a great formula as well, this one's going to have double jointed arms, it's Johnny Johnny Gargano looks fantastic, and I look forward to it a lot. So Johnny Gargano is going to be the second figure in Elite Series 105. Next up in Elite 105 is a figure I'm actually looking forward to a lot. It is going to be Dominic Mysterio. Yes, Dominic Mysterio here, updated Dom. He did have like a pro. He he was also prototype form WrestleMania weekend. We saw him in the Cena shirt. Pretty solid figure here. I'm looking forward to this. I you know gr Dom has grown a lot on me. I used to think he was so just awful as a babyface, but ever since he started doing that prison gimmick and aligned with the Judgment Day, and you know went into that feud with Ray going into Mania and getting to see him there. I thought, I, I've really grown on him a lot. He, he's, he's really become one of my favorite just like, not like, I look at him differently. Kind of how I went from like hating Trash Corbin and then he did that like poor Corbin act and like it really got me as a fan sort of of that gimmick. That's kind of where I am with Dom right now. Not really a fan of him in the ring per se or like I'm not, you know, just shouting at the rooftops for him. I'm not going to be in his fan club but I have grown to enjoy his work there but the figure looks really good here. I look forward to it. I like the mullet and everything like that. Now we just need an appropriate Rhea Ripley. Everybody's going to say, oh, Elite 102 Rhea Ripley looks great. I think it's way too small. And even if my fix-up looks kind of trashy, I still think that uh, th this Elite 105 Dom is going to be a really good figure. So we have Elite 105 Dominic Mysterio. Next up is Carmelo Hayes. Very good figure here. I, I know a lot of people are going to be excited about this one. A lot of people want NXT figures, and I discussed this, is that I feel like ever since the NXT black and gold label kind of went away and they completely changed NXT to NXT 2.0, and they've changed the aesthetic and they've changed the wrestling and they've changed so many things about it prior to its original form. I feel like they really lost a lot of fans. They really, like, I don't watch really NXT at all outside of a few things here and there. I keep up with it very, very casually. And it's just because it kind of lost my interest. I used to be all in on NXT, like, never would miss a show. Was always in tune with it, following every single storyline. Every single, I was up in, in NXT just all the time. Just was one of the biggest supporters you'll find of NXT. But you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to be 
be there for the Carmelo Hayes figure, Brad. So Carmelo Hayes is the next figure in the set. The figure looks really good as well. I'm actually really, really looking forward to the Carmelo Hayes figure. I think it's going to be a pretty good joy here. I'm enjoying what we're seeing here out of the Carmelo Hayes figure, and I look forward to getting this one in hand. It's got the fur coat. It's got the sunglasses. Pretty cool figure. I think it's going to pose around nice. I can't wait to see what gear it is and all those different things. All these figures in Elite Series 105, we're going to see these at SDCC, man. At San Diego Comic-Con, we're going to get to see all of this, so that will be fun, but the next figure in the set is going to be EO Sky here, updated EO Shirai or EO Sky. Very, very good first figure, and I think this figure is going to look damn good as well. I love all the sculpting you're getting here. I hope that that, uh, that waist wrap is not loose. I hope that it's not like one of those belt molds. I hope it's actually sculpted into place, so we don't have to worry about that, but I like all the sculpts here. She still has the damn basic kick pads, which are ugly, but at least they stand well, and that's a bright spot, even though they're not going to have, you know, ankle pivot or anything like that. I still like all the sculpts. Like, look at all these sculpts you got going on. The head sculpt looks good. Her top is sculpted nice. It's got some, like, different, like, little pellets or whatever the hell you want to call that there. You got some studs. Studs is the word, you dumb jack A. But this figure looks good. I look forward to the EO Sky. You know, we're going to get to pair that with our Elite 104 Dakota Kai. So I'm guessing Bailey's probably coming down the line soon, I would imagine. But there is EO Sky for WWE Elite Series 105. So in WWE Elite Series 105, you have Braun Strowman, Johnny Gargano, Dominic Mysterio, Carmelo Hayes, and EO Sky. And the last figure in the set, which I don't think a lot of people knew about, was the WWE Elite Scott Steiner figure. Yes, Scott Steiner is coming into a WWE Elite Series 105. Very, very excited to see what this looks like. Of course, as we all know, the WCW crowdfunding stage project that still breaks my heart didn't come to fruition, so unfortunately, we are not going to be getting the Ultimate Edition Scott Steiner, but they are plugging him in here to WWE Elite 105. As you guys know, that Rick Steiner is coming in WWE Elite Series 104, so we do have Scott Steiner coming in WWE Elite 105. I doubt it's going to be anything close to what we saw in the Ultimate Edition with the Crowdfund Project. I bet we'll see like a completely different, you know, is it going to be Big Papa Pump? Is it going to be Ruthless Aggression Era? There's a couple different things you could do there, but I imagine it's going to look really good. Now that I say this, I do remember when I went on my Mattel tour, you know, when we got to do all those things and got to go in the 3D printing like scanning area and got to see all that stuff in that, uh, on that trip. I remember seeing grayed out render image photos of different figures on the wall and the Scott Steiner figure was actually up on the wall in a gray in a gray photo so that actually has to be what this figure is going to be if I have an image of it I'll try to plug it in or if I can find it somewhere I know I have it somewhere I just got to find it but Scott Steiner is the last figure in WWE Elite Series 105 so running down our entire WWE Elite 105 wave you have Braun Strowman Scott Steiner Johnny Gargano Dominic Mysterio Carmelo Hayes and EO Sky very excited for these I think it's a solid wave you got a lot of like different here you know Johnny Gargano is going to be sought after Scott Steiner Dominic Mysterio's updated Carmelo Hayes. I think this is a pretty good wave here. You know, I don't think it's perfect, but I think it's a solid wave overall. Elite Series 105. But let's run through WWE Elite Series 103, 104, and 105 so that we can uh, get all those things out there so you guys know exactly what you're getting. So in WWE Elite 103, that is a wave we saw at WrestleMania at the Superstore. We have Stardust, which is also the chase figure. You guys know you have the WrestleMania 32 Dusty Rhodes Tribute Cody slash Stardust Elite. And then you have the chase variant in the blue and black, which is going to look awesome. Can't wait to see what these look like at San Diego Comic-Con. We'll probably have Elite 103 in our hands before we get to Comic-Con. So actually, yeah, I, I think before Comic-Con, we'll probably have Elite 104 in our hands before Comic-Con if I had to guess. But Elite 105, I doubt. I bet that'll be right around the corner. But WWE Elite 103, you have Stardust, you have the Liv Morgan in the black and green figure. Really, really nice there. You have the Street Profits, you have Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, two figures I'm very much looking forward to. Probably two of the figures I'm most hyped for for the rest of this year are the, you know, those Miami Vice Street Profits in the Kobe and LeBron jersey. It looks sick as hell. Then you have the Roman Reigns figure, which is, yeah, it's give or take. You get the pointing finger, you get the, the Roman decals on the boots, which I guess is a little bit different than what we've seen over the last couple years. And then you have Bobby Lashley in the black and yellow United States Championship. Pretty solid elite there, but that is the full wave. Stardust, Liv Morgan, Street Profits, Roman Reigns, and Bobby Lashley. Now getting into Elite Series 104, we have AJ Styles, which is the render image that we saw. We have Drew McIntyre also coming in this set. We have Solo Sokoa in this set, which, Jesus, we can all just pray to Jesus right now that they end up fixing that entire wave. I hope to God they fix that wave, but we also have Rick Steiner in this wave, and then we also have Braun Breaker. So the full set here is Solo Sokoa, Drew McIntyre, Rick Steiner, Braun Breaker, 
Dakota Kai and AJ Styles. So in the Elite 104 set, Braun Breaker is the chase. So that's pretty cool. I like this wave a lot. I think you got a lot of good stuff. I guess it's going to depend really on how the solo comes out. If they're going to actually tweak his formula, what the case is. Hopefully they do adjust him and uh, it'll be interesting. Maybe we'll get some more images of that figure later on. But that is Elite 103, Elite 104. And then, you know, we just discussed Elite Series 105, which of course is Braun Strowman, Scott Steiner, Johnny Gargano, Dominic Mysterio, Carmelo Hayes, and EO Sky. So that is our full WWE Elite Series 105. That is going to wrap up our entire news video, man. What do you think of Elite Series 105? I think Elite 103 is really strong. Elite 104 solid and Elite 105. I think we're in for some pretty good waves coming up here and I'm excited for all of those figures. I think we got a lot of good upgrades for certain figures. Certain figures are, are kind of missing the mark, but you know what? I, I guess that remains to be seen. If the Solo Sokoa releases how we saw it, going to be a massive L. Going to be one of the biggest disappointments of the year, especially for a highlight. Like if it was, I don't know, an updated or a like a, if they messed up an Otis or something like that, it would be like, yeah, that sucks, but it's not nearly as big of a deal as messing up a Solo Sokoa. Solo's figure is going to be one of the most sought-after figures because it's first time in the line. He's such a prominent figure. He's going to be the future in WWE. I mean, there's so many things about the Solo figure that they have to nail it because he's such a big iconic character, and I... Jesus, man, that's going to make me so upset if we miss that one. Nonetheless, man, that is going to wrap this video up. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on Elite Series 1, 3, 4, and 5 down in the comment section below. I am getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me all of your thoughts down in the comment section below on these waves, though. But before we get out of here, of course, gotta give a huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Shout out to the patrons. Love you guys so very much for your support. If you guys are interested in becoming patrons of the YouTube channel, definitely check it out. Link in the description below. But that is gonna wrap this video up, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my name, Toys. I'm getting out of here. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never